cost of the Muskrat Falls project is continuing to climb with more overruns expected later this year. Now, Corps CEO Ed Martin won't put a final dollar figure or completion date on that project. Both the cost and schedule are under some pressure. He also pressed the Public Utilities Board to make a ruling on hydro weights as quickly as possible. NTV's Michael Connors joins us live with more on the story. Michael? Thank you very much, Glenn. Nalcor held its annual general meeting today to give an update on its operations. Ed Martin's primary message was aimed at the PUB, but still larger questions loom over the Muskrat Falls project. We have a number of people attending. Nalcor presented its year-end financial numbers at its annual general meeting today. The Crown Corporation posted a loss of $19 million for 2015. It's partly a result of low oil prices and production, affecting its business in the offshore. And delays with the Public Utilities Board, which still has not approved a general rate application from Newfoundland and Labrador Hydro. It is an issue that Hydro clearly needs to have resolved. If we don't get the uh, application approved uh, you know, to a reasonable level, then uh, we are in danger of continuing in a lost position, which we can't sustain. Also, there is still uncertainty about what's happening with the Muskrat Falls project. Last September, the cost of the project was revised upward by 10% to $7.65 billion. And the start date was delayed from late 2017 to sometime in 2018. Nalcor CEO Ed Martin says the cost is likely going to go up again. So you're expecting the cost to go up as well because of this? Um, uh, to a point, yes. Uh, time, uh, that, uh, time alone. Uh, will drive some costs. So with a, with, with a schedule change on site, uh, you know, we are going to have to continue to fund to appoint uh, workers on site, uh, road clearing, those types of things. So I, can, I have to say that with a schedule adjustment uh, on site, there will be some cost implications. I won't go any further than that, though, from a commercial perspective. And as for the start date, Martin will not give an answer on that until later this year. Are you still aiming for 2018 or is it going to be after 2018? Uh, not at liberty to say right now. Those things are under review. We do have uh, an issue uh, with the powerhouse uh, that Astaldi is constructing. Uh, they have fallen behind uh, significantly. I mentioned that last September. And uh, that will have schedule implications. I've been clear on that. I just can't really give you the, the dates right now, but I will as soon as I can. The government commissioned EY, formerly Ernst & Young, to review the project back in December. That report was due in March, but it still has not been released. Martin says Nalcor is doing its own separate review and will update the cost and schedule after that. Well, I think we'll have to work, uh, you know, with the, with the province on that particular answer. I, you know, once again, uh, there's the balance. Uh, you know, commercial sensitivity on a project of this nature, uh, we can't, you know, be sharing information publicly when we're, you know, trying to assess ourselves where things are going. And there's another question looming over Nalcor's operations. The original Churchill Falls contract is up for renewal, automatic renewal, later this year. But Hydro-Quebec has gone to court to challenge the way Nalcor is interpreting that renewal contract. Ed Martin says he's expecting a ruling from the Quebec courts around mid-year. Glenn? Michael Connors joining us live. Thank you, Michael.